Hello everyone, this is Matt Miller, Dean of Online Instruction. Uh, today I wanted to make a little video to clarify an issue that some of you have uh, seen in the gradebook uh, in Canvas that might be a little bit confusing, but I think after this video it'll make sense. So uh, what I want to do is take you out to a Canvas course. You can see I've created a gradebook demo course actually based on a government class um, where this issue uh, was actually uh, uh, discovered. And if I go to, first of all, if I go to my grades, let me just show you what the problem is really quickly. So here I am in a grade book, and you can see that I have three students that are in the grade book. If you kind of focus on student 102 here, you'll see that student 102 missed several assignments. As I scroll across, you'll see that there are several tests that weren't taken and so on. If I go all the way to the end, and by the way, they completely did not do their uh, their SLO or excuse me, their essays uh, in this class. None of them were done. The other students uh, completed theirs and all have grades for them. But here, this student missed several SLO quizzes, missed their essays, and all of that. Now, this is where it gets really weird. If you look uh, how the these items are weighed, so all tests are 15% of the overall grade. Exams will count as 60%. The SLO assessments, so seven SA, uh, SLO tests or quizzes, are only 5% uh, of the grade. And those departmental assessments, which are these three essays, are a whopping 20% of the grade. However, if you look at the total, though, student 102 here is sitting at a 91.17, even above the student 101 here who actually did everything in the class. So how is that possible? Well, Canvas grades, uh, Canvas enters the grade on only graded assignments. So anything that doesn't have a grade will not get counted toward the total. Therefore, it is very important uh, as students do not, um, if students do not complete something, or whatever to actually enter a grade there. Now you can choose when you want to enter the grade there uh, or not. Uh, you know, Canvas in the gradebook has a, a a means by which you can treat ungraded as as a zero, and this will only just show you what it would be like if these items that do not have grades are a zeros. But Canvas doesn't want to assume why there's no grade there. In other words, Canvas doesn't want to automatically assume that you're you know that uh, you mean to put a zero there because you may not. You may be giving these students some extra time. Maybe this student has a legitimate excuse or reason why these items aren't being done and you're giving them a chance to make up uh, those things. Canvas doesn't know all of these things. So what it does is, is when it averages the grade, it averages it only on the graded items, all right? So that's why there's no grade for departmental assessments. Uh, that's a 20% because the student did not do those three departmental assessments here. Okay, now watch what happens when I do decide to enter a grade here. If I go back and start putting grades in, say the student gets a zero, you have to actually enter the grades in. Let me go back. I think I missed some up here. For all these ungraded items, just click your mouse in there and enter the zero. Okay. And we got a few more to go. The picture is going to be a little more clear, okay, in terms of what the student's actual grade is in the course. So now if I scroll to the end there, you're going to see that this student went from a 90 something of all the graded items all the way down to a 29. And so that's because you enter the grades there. So it's very important as a professor to be sure and do that. Now, um, one of the things that uh, several professors have, have told me that they do is if they uh, don't automatically put a zero there, say for example, there's a window uh, of time that they can complete certain things or whatever, that in the new grade book, you can actually mark uh, the students so you can actually put a, a color code for example uh, in there that will uh, flag it for you later on. In this case it's a little hard to find those ungraded items you're able to do that. Uh, and another thing too is that in the new grade book uh, you are also able to set some rules for late or missing work. 
So you can deduct points, uh, a percentage of points by the day or by the hour. Uh, if in a, and I will include my uh, introduction of the new grade book in the in the email that I send with this video. Uh, but I do have a video out there on my YouTube channel uh, that shows you that. So at any rate, that's just a little quick. Uh, here's how you overcome that issue. So by entering grades, then you'll get a clearer picture there. So if you don't enter grades, it may not calculate it. So you definitely want to be entering uh, grades for your students and don't just automatically assume that no grade is as good as a zero because it's not. So uh, that's my tip for today. I hope you have a, a, a great uh, summer and uh, holler if you have any questions or need my assistance with anything. Oh, and one more little tip too I wanted to add. This is a bonus tip, if you will. If you want to be able to save the emails that I send or anybody sends in any particular thing, notice that I'm out here in Outlook right now. And what you can do is actually create yourself a folder. So I'm going to click on my inbox. If I right click, I can choose new folder here. And then I can call it, you know, uh, Canvas Tips or something like that. And then as I have my Canvas Tips, now I can move emails excuse me, go back to the inbox, I can actually click and drag emails to the to that folder and then I can save them there and actually revisit them later instead of having to go back and look at, uh, well, you know, look at all the emails that I might have missed. Uh, if you do see something you like, you can put it in there. I just put Canvas tips, but you can obviously make it anything you want. So that's my tip for today. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, again, have a great summer and I hope to see you soon.